I think if you're graduating now, you know, or shortly, then um, I definitely think just embrace trying to get back to normal a little bit. Uh, I know we've all got used to um, home working, we've all got used to agile ways of, um, of, of communicating with each other. Uh, Teams, Zoom, wonderful. But just don't forget, uh, you know, especially as you start your careers, that face-to-face that -face time with people is really important. You're going to have mentors, you're going to have coaches, people that steer your career. And, um, and you know, you will learn so much more from them by being face-to-face. -face. Our new world will be a, um, a hybrid, I'm sure, between, you know, between home working and office working, depending on what you do in your careers. But um, just embrace the, the personal contact that you'll have chance to have. I think you know, that's an interesting question. How do individuals play their part in, in terms of resilience? So, um, so I definitely think from a business point of view, businesses are going to have to behave differently, act differently as a response to COVID. There are certain trends, if you want to, and think of them like that, that, um, that, that are really, I think, important um, as for businesses, but for the planet generally. And um, you, you might think of things like, you know, climate change and, um, and uh, sustainability, uh, the whole digitalization that we're um, seeing in, um, in, in businesses and, um, and beyond. And, the, and, and the, the response to the various kind of social issues that we're seeing more of. In the UK, we talk about the levelling up agenda and, and so on. I think in terms, of, in terms of resilience, as you enter the marketplace, as you, as you start your, um, your careers, I think think about those things. Think about how you can play your part. Um, Digitalization may be an easy one. No matter what you're doing in your careers, whether you're a lawyer, an accountant or whatever, data and information are going to play a big part in your future and so embrace it make sure that you're um, that, that you're that you're developing your skills in, um, in in that area climate change sustainability the same thing decarbonization whatever you do for a living whatever you're doing in your um, in, in in your careers you're going to be do it doing it in, a, in an atmosphere of decarbonization importance of resilience and, um, and circularity. Make sure you understand what those mean and, um, and, and, and try and uh, prepare yourself around them. And then the social side of things, again, whatever you're doing, whatever business you, um, you, you enter into, um, you're going to find that there's a drive from, um, from all of the stakeholders around you, customers or whoever, um, to, to, be, um, to, to create equality and, um, and, and make sure that you're doing things um, not only for yourself and for your business, but for the communities around you and for the customers that are what you're working with. So I'm the um, executive chair of a, of a large engineering consultancy and we do some amazing projects around the world. Um, you know, whether it's uh, large metro schemes, airports, um, but the thing that really, um, the thing that really inspires me is, is the next generation. And um, I've enjoyed, I've thoroughly enjoyed a, a career in uh, civil engineering. That's my, my background. But, um, but you know, my, my um, business, we're, we're engineering and management um, development consultants. Um, what really inspires me is seeing the, um, the new generation of engineers coming out into our business, the new generation of planners. Uh, it's a different world, you know, they, they are joining this, um, you know, this, this business, they're, they're entering their careers in a much more digital world, a, a, a world which is much more attuned to social outcomes and, and the communities which we, um, which, which we serve. And, um, and of course, all, um, as I mentioned before, in, in, a, in a world where decarbonisation is important. And so I just think it's massively exciting for them. And um, I, I love the fact that I've got a, a, um, a part to play in um, steering them through the first um, stages of their careers. <laughs>